welcome to the channel and my name is manish tiwari so today we are going to talk about how can you secure your application end to end this is what we are going to talk about like what kind of roles permission you can do what kind of data security you can implement on the database this is what we are going to talk in details but before that let me uh, tell you about our boot camp batch what we are running we are running boot camp batch interview preparation boot camp batch where we are preparing you within 5 days so that you can appear for your devops interview and you can crack your interview just by add on like adding our experience with your learning you might have uh, went through the courses you might have already uh, read about the different concepts of the cloud about the kubernetes about the helm about the terraform about the jenkins but where you are going to lack that is the point where you do not have the experience you know each and everything you have already read about the things but since you do not have experience you do not know how these things how the concepts what you have learned has been implemented in real project how the real devops project works how the devops team member works this is where you are lacking you do not know the scenario based questions answer we are helping you over there we are uh, run, we are running our uh, devops interview preparation boot camp batch the batch 9 is going to start within few days if you want you can enroll just drop a whatsapp message for more inquiry it's going to help you you will be benefited but till now we have uh, prepared 290 plus students from the different geographical locations and they have been uh, associated with the different organizations now few of them have been placed to the red hats few of them placed in the different uh, mncs as well now let's talk about application security how can you secure your application with the different different configuration I start from the networking where you have to launch your application where you are going to create the your uh, like your servers at the server level what can you do you can launch your server into private subnet we talk about the aws vpc we talk about the aws subnet and then you have to select the server and these servers like you are going to run your 10 number of servers to host your application all these 10 servers should be in private subnet so that no one can fetch your server details from outside that means no one can hit the server using the public ip address correct so that's the first thing while you are setting up the vpc pairing while you are setting the route tables and other details try to ensure that there is no any such ports open there is no such anything open which can make a request to the internet so that's the another thing what you can do even if you are going to have a load balancer where your request will be routed just suppose that you have a domain called as abc.com which is the your application url it's a website correct the moment when you are hitting abc.com request will be routed to your load balancer ultimately through route 53 and those uh, con- according to those configuration but the moment when you are doing the configuration even you can launch your uh, load balancer into private subnet so that even the load balancer details cannot be fetched directly from the outside first Now to your load, uh, uh, configure your uh, load balancer into private subnets. Launch your servers into private subnet. That's how you are going to make the things private. Now let's talk about the cluster. It is cluster, the Kubernetes system, where your all the different microservices are going to be deployed. All these different microservices should be into private subnet. So whatever the EKS cluster you are going to launch, the different EKS cluster, correct? For the different different customers, these EKS clusters should be private and it should be launched into private subnet. You get the option while you are configuring your EKS cluster. You get the option whether you want to make it public or you want to make it private. There you need to select it as a private. Then it will be secured. There you will be the moment when you are creating the rules and the permission for the EKS cluster as well. try to pass on the minimum permissions which can be useful for your application and which is required for your team do not pass any kind of high level privilege do not pass any kind of administrator or admin kind of access until and unless it is not required okay. then let's talk about your uh, database as well because that's also a one of the important concept or important component of your application where the user details will be stored where like the what is the user name the first name last name the company details the employee id and the, based on the user details correct it might be e-commerce application it might it might be your uh, food related application correct where you are going to store different kind of data it can be your real customer data as well 
you are uh, like um, you are working with the airtel and that has the uh, complete uh, customer data so you cannot make the customer data as a public there are uh, a number of rules and uh, regulation from the government side as well so for that you need to keep your customer data as a private what can you do you have to ensure that this database should also be the private and it should be in the private subnet as well so there are two things first you launch it in private subnet so that it will be privately accessible and second thing when you are going to create this database there also you need to select as a private there are options you get uh, whether you want uh, as a public database or you want a private sub a private database there also you need to select as a private database that's the second thing then whatever the roles and permission you are going to pass the third thing you need to make ensure in case of database that you are not going to connect your database using the password you, what we do in real project we implement iam authentication so with the help of roles and users you log in into your database and then your application performs the activity whether it has to fetch the details or whether it has to write the details into your database that's the third thing now going forward if i talk about any resources any other resources the aws cloud services you are going to utilize try to make ensure that each and every resource should be encrypted with kms key there is one of the service called as aws kms key key management service your services should be configured it should be associated with the kms key it can be your aws managed key or if you want to restrict those things also you want to uh, have your policy so you can create customer uh, kms key correct so that you can control what kind of activities can happen what kind of replication can happen for your resources third uh, next point you can enable the monitoring for your application whatever the application you are launching it might be your food application it might be your uh, hotel chain it might be your financial application correct you we are uh, providing the services to the financial customer so there also you need to ensure that you have implemented monitoring in a proper way so that whenever something happens whenever you see any malicious attack or you see any uh, threat over your application over your uh, server ultimately it will be logged and you will get a notification out of that so that you can take a preventive action and you can take an action so that next time this kind of uh, this kind of activity does not happen on your real project on your real customer applications which are running because the moment the things will be impacted you are going to lose that particular customer so as a devops engineer you have to make sure all the systems all the database your application your server your uh, each and every component of your application should be highly secured even your jenkins pipeline the cicd pipeline what you are going to utilize try to ensure that all the secrets all the details your like uh, database password your uh, any kind of user access key secret access key that you have created each and everything should be encrypted should be stored at a secured place like when you are uh, working with the jenkins your credentials like your repository uh, personal access token these things should be stored in managed jenkins this should be configured or if you are uh, utilizing the database password that should be kept in your aws secret manager nothing should be there on your public github uh, on your github repository because the moment the data is on github repository it's not safe it's not secured so each and every component each and every resource which are involved to deploy your application to run your application everything should be controlled everything should be with high security even access part on the aws account the customer aws account or your team member access should be also in a format so that no one can get into the details the in depth details and only those who requires to get into the details the, those people or those members should get access from your uh, after the approval from your higher management this is how you can secure application secure your application this is how you can make it relevant and if you want to learn and if you want to uh, like get to your career transition towards the devops or if you are already working as a devops and then you want to switch into devops or you want to switch your job or if you are already in the devops you can inquiry uh, on our whatsapp number which we have provided in the description and you can uh, collect the information how can you prepare yourself how can you incorporate our experience with your learning whatever you have learned or you are going to learn with us you can combine both the things and then you can easily crack your interview because what we are teaching you that is the thing what we have experienced and that is the thing what we are working upon so 
feel free to drop a whatsapp message do inquiry and we are here to help you you can even join our whatsapp community there we talk about the updates there we talk about the different interview questions as well and we have our uh, different communities as well so you can join and uh, let's meet in the interview boot camp or in the devops training feel free to drop a inquiry